what's up everyone so in this video i'm going to show you how you can get rid of unused imports and organize imports in a javascript or a typescript project right now i have opened up a react application and we are using typescript now i'm using ptr for code formatting if i mess up the code formatting a little bit and run the code formatting once again it's going to format the code obviously but it will not organize the imports nor it's going to get rid of all the unused imports uh, at least that's not the behavior by default there are probably uh, some plugins that you can use to do that using prettier but we are going to use ts server instead using language server we are going to organize imports and get rid of unused imports okay next let's jump into the neovim configuration here i'm setting up all language savers i have defined i have a list of language savers like so which i'm passing it, uh, uh, it into this function right here and here i am looping through each and every one of them to set up them and this is where i'm setting up usually you would have something like a table inside here and you know things like on attach and capabilities and all that stuff but i have a a little bit different uh, configuration so i have conf here um but the point is um, you need to add a property called command and add all the commands into that um, then pass all that into um, this uh, this setup function right here all right um, now the feature we are going to use uh, is only available in the ts server so we have to isolate ts server so i'm going to add a if condition if server name is equal to ts server then um, i'm going to add the command now i'll create a variable called commands if there are existing commands i'm going to keep them as well so conf commands and if that does not exist i'm going to return an empty table and into the commands uh, table i'm going to add a new command called organize imports once again this is going to be a table to which i'm going to pass in a function uh, it's called organize imports with um, simple low and simple lie and we can add a description organize imports like so right now we don't have the function called uh, organize imports which i'm going to create uh, next we're going to call this organize imports inside here uh, i'm going to create a bunch of parameters we are going to be using so another variable this is called the param this is going to be a table and pretty much always when we are calling a command in or we are, when we are executing a command in language say we have a property called command just call command then we are going to enter the command it's going to be uh, type script organize imports with simple law make sure this is, oops this is simple law then we are going to pass in some arguments arguments we are going to pass in a list even though list only contains once or one one argument we are going to get the current url of this buffer oh um so i'm going to call them api and then buff get uh, name of the file we are going to pass in zero so it will return the name of the current buffer you can execute that right here as you can see we have the path to the file um you can add a title as well 
is going to be an empty uh, string. Next, I'm going to call a lsp command or execute a command bim lsp buff execute command and we are going to pass in params we have created. Actually, I'm going to make this a oops local function and that's pretty much what we need let's go back to the react application close and reopen and when you try to uh, run a command called organize there should be one but there's no any because we forgot to pass the new command variables or commands variable into the configuration so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add conf commands and assign it to the commands variable we have created here in this line this thing right here okay um, close and reopen one second let's try organize imports now it's going to auto complete and when I hit enter it's going to get rid of all the unused imports as well as um, it's going to organize the imports if I do this and organize imports um, it's going to organize the imports as you can see it changed the order as well like so pretty cool stuff so that's 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 all you need to do um, it's um it's not that complicated um and it's going to make your life a lot more easier and that's it thanks for watching have a nice day